Hello kids, hope everyone is in learning mode and enjoying this part of the day. Children, in the last class, we teachers had shown you how to make a simple home remedy for cough. Did anyone get to try that? Today, we will show you a few other useful medicinal plants. This is Mexican mint. It is used to cure skin rashes and cough. This is mint. Mint is used to cure stomach pain. This is insulin plant. The leaves of insulin plant are eaten by patients who have diabetes. This is beetle plant. The leaves of beetle plant are used as painkillers. You know Veena, the interesting part is that we have seen different types of leaves. Here leaves different color, different size, different shape and texture. Apart from this, what I understand is we unknowingly consume a lot of leaves in our diet which has medicinal values, right? I hope today you must be having something more to explore. You are right Vidya. Now look at these pictures. Do you find any difference in these two plants? Yes, I do. Children, you can also spot the difference. In picture 1, I see plants are given support. In picture 2, they are just spread on their own just like that. You are right Vidya. Children, the plant which is in the picture 1 is a climber. Climbers always grow upwards. They need support like a grandma who needs a supporting stick. Climbers have a spring-like structure which helps them to hold the host plant or the supporting plant or the supporting structure for support. Children, here are some examples of climbers. This is grapevine. This is ridge gourd. This is flame vine. Observe children, all of these plants have support. Observe this plant here. This is peppercorn plant. Here peppercorns are green in color. Do you remember we had used peppercorns in our medicine? Their peppercorns were black in color. When these green peppercorns are dried, they become black. Observe children how they are holding a host plant and growing upwards. Children, have you seen the climbers climbing the electric poles and the trees? Veena, can you identify these plants? Yeah, this is muskmelon. Good. This is touch me not plant. Yes. This is clover plant. Yes. This is pumpkin plant. You are right. I'm sure you must have seen this in our campus. I'm sure everyone would have enjoyed touching this plant. My favorite as well. Children, these are creepers. They grow along the ground. They just spread themselves like that. Like a baby crawling all over. One more thing to keep in mind. If you look at these pictures here, pumpkin and muskmelon are heavy fruits. But here there are no fruits. We always think that creepers have heavy fruit and that's why they creep. No, creepers always need not have heavy fruits. Creepers like touch me not, clover are with no heavy fruits but still they grow along the ground just like that. Children, observe the creeper here. Can you see a watermelon? Heavy fruit? Look at the creeper here, they are just growing along the ground. They have spread themselves like that. Let us sum up today's session. Climbers, they grow vertically. Creepers grow horizontally. Here, climbers need support to grow. Creepers grow along the ground. Now I am sure you must be thorough with the concept. I want all of you to observe a few creepers and climbers in your surroundings. You can have the list of the same or you can draw the same in your notebook. I have a few questions. You need to find the answers for these questions below. Question number 1. Which climber can grow in water as well as in soil? Usually 
you find it as an ornamental plant question number 2 find out in which season we get more watermelon and musk melon fruits why should we consume these fruits in that particular season question number 3 which part of the touch me not plant is used as medicine question number 4 name the climber that climbs tall trees to get sunlight in thick forests question number 5 i'm a fruit i'm a climber i'm used in making wine who am i hope today's session was interesting we will come back with a few more topics in the next class till then happy learning see you soon